There are two main things that Chromebook Plus is supposed to achieve for devices that get this fresh new label on the lid. They need to be great devices to use overall, and they need to keep the price in check. Now, in some ways, I'd argue that all of that falls under the same umbrella, since price really has a lot of sway on how picky or not you get with any Chromebook, but you get the idea. Chromebook Plus now represents a new standard that I've really come to enjoy while reviewing every new model, and this final one of the initial bunch, the Acer Chromebook Plus 514, once again shows that Google got this whole thing pretty right. So let's dive in. With the eighth and final Chromebook Plus model, I feel like we're beating a dead horse at this point. I mean, with Chromebook Plus on the lid, you already know it's a great overall experience. Using this device is just gonna be pretty solid. It's not perfect, but it's really good and it's really affordable too. I mean, most days the 514 can be had at Costco for just $399. It doesn't go on sale too often, but at this price, it just doesn't really need to. For that money, you're getting some nice stuff here. It's a 14 inch Chromebook with a 16 by 10 full HD touchscreen to start with. And though it's only 250 nits, the anti-glare coating does help mitigate some of that glare and makes it workable in most indoor environments. The upward firing speakers are loud and they do provide some nice stereo separation. The trackpad is large too and it's glass-ish. It's Acer's ocean glass tech and it's super comfy to use. And it's all housed in a chassis that's pretty rigid and it meets mil-spec durability for stuff like drops too. Now the keyboard is a spot where this one falls down a little bit, but it's not exactly a deal breaker. I mean, it's backlit, which I do prefer and it's fine. I just find the keyframe to be a little bit mushy for my taste and I've typed on worse, but this one just isn't great. Overall, it's just unremarkable basically and probably my least favorite part of this Chromebook as a whole. The IO is solid though with a USB type C on either side, the USB type A, a full size HDMI port, headphone microphone jack, and a Kensington lock. And the Chromebook Plus required 1080p webcam is pretty good too and it gets the expected tricks like lighting adjustments and background blur as well. I'd still say devices like the Lenovo Slim 3i is a better overall device in this 14 inch clamshell segment but it used to also be 150 bucks more expensive. But for the past six weeks, it's been on sale for $339, so it's undercutting the Acer 514 by a solid 60 bucks. Additionally, you have devices like the Flex 5i and Asus CM34 to compete with in this price range as well, so the Acer 514 isn't exactly a buy it now sort of device. I mean, if you like Acer Chromebooks and you like a really nice trackpad and that stuff's high on your list, then hey, the 514 is a great option. But let's face it, you won't be too mad with any Chromebook Plus purchase at this point, right? And that's the point. I, I can't say the 514 does anything exceptionally better than the rest of them. So it really comes down to what's available at the time of purchase, what the prices are, and where you shop. I mean, with this one being available only at Costco, it makes it a little bit less popular. But as I've said with all Chromebook Plus models at this point, if you pick it up, I really think you're gonna like it. But guys, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, head down there, hit that subscribe button, and be sure to ring the notification icon as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Until next time, we'll see you.